Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a letter echo animation and you can use that in your logo animation or intros for your YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. First thing I'm going to show you is what that looks like. And then I'm going to take you step by step and show you the easiest way to create something like this, make it really engaging and captivate your audience. So let's go ahead and play this. looking amazing now let's go and show you how to create this step by step so i'm going to take everything off and then i will start by grabbing a text hitting the shift key and the t the letter t on my keyboard to grab a sh text box on my time in my timeline and i'm going to edit my text right there and then make this the letter a change the color to one of my favorite gradient colors right there and then i'm also going to scale up the uh letter just like this so something around you know, 482, that's totally up to you how you want to uh, size it, when, whether you want to make it big or small, it's really up to you. And then the first thing I want to do is I will extend the layer and the timeline. So depends on how long or how short you want that on how fast or slow. Like I said, this is totally up to you. But for me, I'm going to try and keep it, you know, as short as possible, but still pretty slow so that it looks um, awesome the way you've seen it in the first place. So I'm going to keep it around, you know, seven to eight seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'll move my letter A to on the left side on, on my canvas like that. I'm going to rotate a little to the left like this. And then I want to start adding my keyframes to uh, create some animation for this uh, letter A. So the first thing I will do is uh, click and add animation right here. Uh, click on properties position and then rotation and the easing is going to be linear for both in and out and then uh, next up i'm going to move my uh, second keyframe of my first animation and make it uh, at three seconds so that you know we slow down the motion of the movement of our letter a and then i want to make sure that i have my second keyframe selected turned in blue and then simply just drag my letter a using the keyboard holding a shift and the right arrow key and drag this all the way to the right side just like that and then we can just simply rotate it you know upside down not completely but something like this to the right side and then from here where you have your your where you have your your playhead over the second keyframe of, of your first animation you want to create a second animation so that it happens instantly and simultaneously right after the first one so to do that you simply just click on add animation we'll go to properties and we'll do a position rotation easing is going to be linear again for both of them and then the second keyframe i'll drag that one to six seconds so we have you know an even speed for both animation and then i want to make sure that again the second keyframe is selected turned in blue that's how i know it is going to take effect so then i will just rotate my letter back again to the make it look right just like this still a little bit tilted to the left side and i'm going to use my keyboard hold shift and the left arrow key and then drag this all the way again to the left side just like that so let's go ahead and have a play and see what that looks like so here you go cool so now that we've got that covered what we want to do is we want to create as many duplicates to create our echo and that is the easiest part it's a little bit time consuming yet it's so much fun because once you create it and you look at the end result you'll be amazed by it so what i want to do is i'm going to make a duplicate of the same layer right here by clicking on Control d, uh, d to make a duplicate or you can just simply click on the uh, duplicate button on top of the timeline right here to make a duplicate of your layer uh, now what i want to do next is i want to so as i have this selected I want to change the color and actually make it transparent. So I'm going to drag these colors like this. So I have my first, because this is a gradient, I have, you know, two colors. So I'm selecting the first color and then simply making that one uh, transparent, as you can see. And I also have to select the second circle that represents the second color and then make that one also a transparent so that I can, you know, create a border for my letter A. And then from there, I can just go ahead and create a border uh, and then change the color of my border and make it black. And then I'm gonna add some width to it. So something like this too would look, uh, would look okay for that. 
And so, like I said, the magic happens in when you duplicate the layers for as many as you want to. So this is what we're going to do right now. So I will have this one and it's about, you know, it's about timing the layers so that you end up with this, you know, echoing effect that looks really amazing. So what you want to do is you want to have this one, uh, the duplicate layer basically start one frame after the uh, the letter that's in gradient color, right? So that's like that. So once we click that, now you can see that we have, you know, our first layer of the echo for our letter A. And then what we want to do is we want to make another duplicate. So I'm going to hit Control D. And then same thing, I'm going to move, give it one frame forward. So that way I have another layer, same thing. So again, this is all up to you. It depends on how many layers you want to create. Uh, so I'll keep going for that one and then make, you know, more layers. And then all I want to do is I want to keep one frame difference between, uh, between each layer. So duplicate one more time and duplicate one more time, move one frame forward, duplicate one more time, move one frame forward like that right? This is totally up to you. So let's look, take a look at that. So far, this is what we've got. And then I'm going to create one more right here. Again, one frame forward. And to be sure that you're only just uh, having, you, you only have one frame difference between each layer, you have to zoom in on your time to the maximum level. It's the best way and our best practice to really uh, get that as perfect as you could. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create another duplicate. Like I said, I'm going, to make a, I'm going to make a few of them just so we can have as many and just give you the look that we saw in the first place. So let's go ahead and do that and continue to make duplicates like this. And let's take a look so far what we've created. So looking good so far, as you can see, that's basically, you know, what it is. So like I said, the magic all happens and the duplicates and timing up your layers one frame after uh, or one frame between each layer. Let me go ahead and create a few more duplicates. So we basically just want to reach one second. Like the very last one should be at one second, basically starting at one second. Like that, and then we are making the time difference is only one frame. Like I said, this is going to be even between all of them, just like this. And then one more, and then we should be good to go. Pretty cool. All right. So right now, let me go ahead and zoom out of my timeline. And then if I just go ahead and play this whole thing for you, before I do this, remember to make that layer, the gradient one, or whatever color you have, it, that should be on top of the rest of the layer. So let's have a look. So I want to grab this layer, and with my mouse, I can use the scroll button to scroll up all the way to the top. So I can simply just add that layer above the rest of the layers, just like this, and then simply just expand it or stretch it out to line it up with the uh, layer underneath it. And then just go back, minimize my timeline just like this, and then have a play and show you what that looks like. Here we go. And that's how easily you can create um, echo animation for your letters. Feel free to use that in your logo animation, like I said, or your YouTube intros. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and then share this video uh, just for more engagement. I really appreciate it. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.